Oh, I'm live this time, mate. I'll just. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to Crafters TV. <laughs> My name's Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it's all going on here. It is all going on here. I tell you what. Oh, dear. Uh, welcome to Crafters TV. Thank you for joining us this Thursday. Uh, and we're here for our award winning show. Yay. Uh, we're here for the, uh, the Craft Along. Um, and this is a show that I, I'm sure you guys know by now. But if you are new to us, it is an award winning show. Nothing quite like it out there because what what we do is we uh, bring to you a project that we do over the course of a couple of hours that we do in real time. So, you know, normally when we have the shows, we're bringing you lots of different items and we're showing you demos, but we've got so much to squeeze in that we can't really afford the time to do them in real time. A uh, craft along we do. Uh, we craft along with you, you craft along with us. And here's the brilliant thing. If you don't have the particular thing that we're crafting along, and then of course you can buy it on the show and then craft along at a later date because the uh, videos always stay live on indeed Facebook and YouTube. Now before we get on into it, we've got so much to get through today. Uh, the spring sale continues up until Sunday up to 70% off. Also, uh, National Craft Month continues up until tomorrow. We've got some great deals if you're looking for accessories when it comes to your Gemini uh, machines. And the big announcement that we have literally just launched, I think in the last 20 minutes or so, if you love your Spectrum Noir, boom, 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 three for two across the Spectrum Noir range, excluding your Academy of Colors. However, everything else, get filling up your basket, three for two, and it ends, I believe, uh, midnight tonight so a great opportunity for you to stock up on your favorites great opportunity for you to try out some of the other ranges of spectrum noir pens and pencils and ink pads and all the other goodies that maybe you've never tried before uh, but take advantage we do not do that very often at all so the fact that we have just thrown that in on a random Thursday says to me that you need to get to the website get those deals and take advantage of of them. Now, it is a craft along, of course, not me uh, taking the craft along, can you imagine? Um, it is the one and only, the lovely Debbie Fisher, and we are concentrating on all things Academy of Colour. Uh, we certainly are, and actually I think you do yourself an injustice, Ben, because I think you could absolutely do your own uh, craft along. Do you reckon? Um, yeah, I actually think we need to uh, put that to the test. Really? I do. I think <laughs> you need to pick your own project and we need to craft along with Ben. Can I could be the presenter. Well, I was about to say, if yes. we're going to do it, mm -hmm. you'd have to, I think you come this side. Yes. And then you could help me if I got stuck. I love that. But with a bit of planning and preparation, you never know. I think you could absolutely do that. Yeah, right. I think you do yourself a disservice because mm. I think you are absolutely capable of doing a craft along. A craft along should be all about fun. Um, and what I love about this one is we're going to strip it right back to colouring and we're going to colour with our alcohol pens, which you know does uh, or gives you amazing results. But we're then going to add our pencils on top of that. Now, if you haven't got our wax pencils that have just come out, because I know a lot of you are still waiting for them, or maybe you haven't been able to get hold of the uh, wax pencils, Pencil Academy of Colour. Uh, you can use your colour blend pencils as well. Any wax pencils on top of your alcohol, uh, alcohol colouring you can do. Um, if you haven't got this particular stamp, any stamp, any flower stamp will yep. do. Um, what I, what the main thing about this is, is I wanted to show you how to enhance your alcohol pens with your pencils, but I also wanted you to see how you could colour onto craft card and colour onto white card. So two different substances um, to colour onto. So and I think that's really important with crafting because it's teaching you two different skills in one go and getting those results. Nice one. Uh, we've got lots of hellos to do and we've got a very special guest to introduce you to in just a few moments. However, let's uh, have a look with Debbie as to what you're going to need if you want to quickly gather all your bits and pieces together. So what do we need, Debbie? Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing we're using, we're going to use our Academy of Colour. We're also going to be using the Academy of Colour Aqua Pencil set as well with the stamp in that, uh, which I've not got on the list. Um, but we're also, but like I say, you can use any coloured stamp, um, your Academy of Colour uh, wax pencils or your colour blend pencils. Uh, I'm using the Rainbow Hearts embossing folder from the Colour Your World. We're using multi-purpose cardstock A3 size to create the card blank. So if you haven't got that size, don't worry, I'll tackle that when we come to it and we, you can make a card size out of A4. Uh, I'm using black cardstock craft card uh, and our alcohol proof noir black. Now just some extra additional items that you're going to need, they are your foam pads, your Gemini Junior, your Scoremaster, your Guillotine and your Stamping Platform. So nice and simple. 
Excellent stuff. Um, as always, if you are crafting along with us, do let us know because we look forward to seeing your finished project uh, at the end of the show. Let's say a few hellos and then we'll do the most important hello. Uh, Astrid is with us from a, a beautiful, sunny but blustery Oxfordshire. Uh, Sarah Brown says, hello again, Crafty Peeps. Just popped in for a bit before I get some shut eye. It is now midnight, so I may fall asleep soon. I've saved the show. Hugs from Melbourne, Australia. Uh, Christine Mahoney's in. Thea's in just in time. Hoi, hoi. Oi, hoi, people, oi. Uh, Janice is in from West Virginia. Gareth is in. Um, Rosalind Russell's from Maryland. Hi to Mary Beth Doyle. Carletta in Arkansas. Laurel is in North Carolina. North Carolina. Tess is in saying uh, good morning from Wisconsin. Uh, I'm listening from the barn. I don't want to miss the secret. Oh, I've done the secret. Three for two on Spectrum Noir. Just up until midnight. Uh, and Alison Alcalay says good morning, everyone. It is a great day. Crafters TV now. And then opening day for Major League Baseball, let's go Mets. Ooh. Don't really follow baseball, but let's go Mets. Let's go Mets. Come on, who are they? Mets. Who's that? They're the Come Mets. On. Where are they? They're from, where are they from? USA. Oh. The <laughs> USA Mets, yes. <laughs> Let, oh, New York Mets, I knew that. New York Mets. Yes, Mets. Uh, hi to Annie from uh, Arkansas. Michelle's in from Pennsylvania. Rhonda's in from Oak Park, Illinois. And hi to Tina Jolly, who says good morning from North Carolina. North Carolina. Oh, oh, what oh. Uh, and Beth says good morning from a sunny upstate New York to all my crafty friends. Lots of hellos from across the pond. Uh, and we're going to do another hello right now as we uh, travel over to Northern Ireland. And we say a very good afternoon to the lovely Sarah. Good afternoon, Sarah. How are you? Uh, doing, thank you. Excellent stuff. Um, are you super excited for the craft along? Yes. Is it the first one you've done? Yeah. What made you decide to uh, to jump in and do it? Have you been thinking about doing it for a while? Yeah. Yeah. And and is colouring your favourite type of craft, or do you do lots of different crafts? Colouring. Colouring's yeah. your favourite. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Um, we're really looking forward to doing this with you, and I know you've got um, you've got everything ready. And I just noticed over your right shoulder there, you've got a wonderful picture um, on the chair. Uh, who, who's that? Who's that handsome guy behind you there? <laughs> I knew that you got the photo because uh, sometimes you message me, don't you, on uh, on Facebook and on on Instagram. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Well, listen, we're going to have a, a really good time. Um, I always say this to our guests in the craft along. If you have any um, problems, any questions you want to ask, if you just give us a wave like that. And we've got uh, Johnny and Jamie, who I know you've already met in the gallery, and they will they'll uh, be able to help out. And if not, we can um, get questions across to, uh, to Debbie as well. Are you excited and ready to go? Yes. Excellent news. Well, we'll get started then. Uh, as always, if you are uh, someone who's crafting along, send in your pictures at the end. We would love to see them, and I can't wait to see what uh, uh, Sarah comes up with as well. Exciting, Debbie. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All yes, right, then. absolutely. Let's get so, going. Uh, let's get started on this beautiful card. So the first thing we're going to do is take out sheets of... Um, so I'm using Nina cardstock. For anyone else, uh, you can use your multi-purpose cardstock. Um, it's anything that you're alcohol. If you have got the Academy of Colour, uh, you can use the Academy of Colour sheets that come in with that, which is your alcohol proof or alcohol sheets to, to work with. And I'm also going to take... Um, our craft card as well now if you've gone for the wax uh, sorry the aqua pet no the wax pencils I am saying the right one the wax ones let me just show you I'm just gonna bring them in um, because I know some of you will be waiting on them some of you might already have them but inside there you are getting uh, your craft paper you're getting your vellums and you're getting your pencil paper okay so you're getting all three of those now the thing to remember with this is your craft paper is paper so it's a lot thinner yeah so you can do this same technique with your craft card so it doesn't matter so I don't want people to feel like they have to have this box with the wax pencils if you've got the color band pencils um, but it makes a difference when you're stamping but we're going to cover that so I'm going to take that just to show you what I mean uh, but you can absolutely use your normal um, normal pens, uh, normal uh, craft card to use, which is what we're going to do. Now, we're going to trim our uh, Nina or your white cards dot down to five by three inches. Okay. So we're going to bring in our guillotine and trim that down to five by three. So just in there. This will give us our base card. So five inches 
by three inches, which looks quite small, but it does all come together. So that's our first piece of card. And if I bring in my card here, you'll see that's your piece of card in the middle. Yeah. Isn't it strange how a small piece of card that looks quite small like that, yeah. but creates quite a bigger card. Um, so that's your first piece. Then we're going to trim our craft card down. Now this piece of craft card, we're going to trim to six and three quarters by four and three quarters. All right. And we'll repeat all of these measurements again in just a second. I can, um, I can see Sarah just in my monitor there. She's um, doing her cutting. So don't worry. Sarah, we can oh, repeat Sarah, all of these. Oh, Sarah, I need, I need a helper like you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me, I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> and four and three quarters, okay? So we're cutting that six and three quarters by four and three quarters. And that's going to be, oh, I've lost my little bit now. Oh, it's up there. And that will be your piece there, which if I bring again my card in, that's your middle section. So you right. can see, okay, that gives us that. And actually, while we've got our guillotine out, let's do our black cardstock as well. And then we've got all our mats and layers. So our black cardstock is going to be seven and a half by five and a half. Okay. So I'm just going to turn that round and take the foot out of our guillotine. Oh, yeah. So we can pop that across and we're going to do seven and a half, I believe I said. Yeah, seven and a half. So, like so, seven and a half by five and a half. So, put that through, and I will just recap all of those measurements in a second so yep. you can all catch up. So, that's five and a half. So, that gives us all of our measurements for our mat and layer in. So, let's pop that to the side. And then these can just go in your pile for wherever you keep your scrap card. Uh -huh. So our first measurement for, let's say, our black card is five and a half by seven and a half. Okay. Our craft card, which will go in the centre there, um, that is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then our last piece, which is our Nina cardstock or your white cardstock, uh, is three inches by five inches. And that gives us our border. So let's pop that there and you can see. So all we'll have left to do at the end is just do our main card blank. Yeah. But if you just want to create your card blank, you can just create it uh, seven and a half by five and a half. Um, but I like to, I like these quite big corners, big uh, borders around the edges. Okay. Right, so the first thing we want to do is take our craft card and our white card stock and we're going to bring in our stamping platform. Okay. So let's bring that one in. Okay, and then we're just going to place this into here. So how I like to do mine, um, and I'm doing this a lot lately, I always like to butt it up to this to our emblem on the okay. bottom. And then I know that I'm always putting it in the right spot if ever I need to use it um, or need to move it. So I'm just going to pop that on to start with. So that's held that one in place. And then this one, I would say you want to sort of do this by eye. I would just pop that wherever you think uh, you need it in the middle. So what I would usually do is uh, count down your little squares. So like one, two, three, and then from here, one, two, three. So I know that that's roughly between those three squares. Do you see what I mean? And then I, if I move that, it come across one, two, three, and then in the center, and then one, two, three, and that's in the center. That gives me a rough estimate, it doesn't have to be perfect, of where that center piece is. And then we're going to place our magnets on top of those, yeah. like so. Now, I'm using the stamps. Now, I don't think our Sarah might not have these. Um, if you don't have these, Sarah, then use some of your flowers or your butterfly, whichever you like to choose, because there's some really nice stamps on the first Academy of Colour. So I would say you could either use uh, these flowers here, yeah. uh, which have got quite nice open spaces. So if I was using my Academy of Colour from here, I think what would be nice, let me show you, is to sort of bring these in. So you've got uh, half a yes. flower um, and bring them in this way. So you've got those sort of two coming across. You could have them like that. Oh, maybe. that's quite nice. 
Yeah, so yeah. something like that would be quite nice. So, uh, yeah. so um, just so you've got a bit of it on the white and then a bit on the Yeah, so you've got card. it on both sort of sides. So yeah. I would say if you haven't got your bigger stamp, uh, which is this one here, which is the one we're going to be colouring in, which is from your Aqua ones, which is the one before your Academy, um, then use the ones that you've got here so you've got those sides. So I'm just doing that so for our um, uh, Sarah that's crafting along. Let's just pop those back on like so and then also in that same one so from our academy of color i'm yeah. actually going to be using uh, may our friendship blossom you can use whichever sentiments that you want but this one fitted really nice uh, across the top here so if i just move those down uh -huh. this one fitted perfectly across the middle section here yes so we're just going to place that so it's fairly straight along the top like so and then I'm just going to bring in then my big um, flower stamp and we're going to place that so what I'm going to do with this one is on here I'm just going to place that on the edge okay so right to the corner like so so we've got a little bit on our white and then we've got a bit on our darker one um, let's just move that up a little bit more there we go so once that's all in place I'm yep. then just going to put my magnets back in to hold it down a bit more nearer like so that will hold it all in place uh, and then we can stamp that and the reason because we've got our uh, so it has um, oh yeah I can see that uh, Sarah's got her own stamping platform oh yeah Sarah, Sarah's right up to date she's there, <laughs> she's there. which is amazing and uh, then we're going to bring in our uh, now so I'm bringing in our alcohol proof um, ink now this is really important because I'm using our Academy of Colour so I'm using the Academy of Colour alcohol inks we want our alcohol proof ink but if I was just colouring in our pencils so if you're colouring in wax pencils it actually doesn't matter what you use yeah but because I'm using alcohol you definitely want your alcohol proof ink so we're just going to tap that on to here and we're going to stamp a few times to make sure we get a really nice lay down of colour and that's the good thing with having our stamping platform is that we can get that precision stamping uh, if you go on to that penny sale remember that's uh, that's in there oh yeah it's in one of the bundles isn't it, it? is the yes platform. absolutely yeah so we're going to stamp on to here and then take that up so you can see. Now I'm not worried that it hasn't stamped where I've put it exactly because we can just stamp down again. So just going back over and I would say just stamp um, until you get that desired effect. Yes. So we're just going to stamp down on there again. Do those bits that look like they've been missed. Still a little bit at the top, doesn't seem to want to catch that top bit. So I'm just going to just pop that down onto there. This is the perfect so reason why you up. need this bit of kit, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. This is a great yeah. example of why you need it. But the, there's another reason I want to do it, and I will show you that in a second. So it still doesn't want to catch. I don't know if I've got some. I'm just going to get a piece of tissue right. just to wipe because I feel um, like I've got something sticky on there that's not catching uh, on that top piece. We'll say a few hellos whilst you're doing that. Nikon, he says, good morning, Debbie and Ben and our team. at uh, sunny but chilly in New Jersey. But no despair, Crafters TV is on the air. Uh, and Crafty <laughs> friends that. are also here. Uh, Betty joins us from Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Uh, she's sneaking a peek oh, whilst at work. Oh, I love that song. Do you? Yes. I always do that. I've never heard you do that before. Yeah, every time I say Just Oklahoma. Back from the windy come. city, the windy city. Is that what you're saying? Mighty pretty. Mighty pretty, but they ain't got mm -hmm. what we got. No, sorry. I don't know that bit. I just know Oklahoma where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. That's Doris Day. Du, du, du. Oh, no. No, that's something different. You're singing something different. I'm oh. singing Oklahoma from Oklahoma. Oh. oh. Oklahoma where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Oh, yeah, no, that's no. a different song. It wasn't the same song. What, what, what's your one? Um... So mine's from the film, Doris is it, Day. Is it Clamity Jane? Clamity Jane, yes. Mm. Just got back from the Windy City. The Windy this City, city is, is mighty pretty, pretty. but they ain't no, got no, what we no, got. got. No, no sorry. Sing along and craft along. <laughs> uh, hi to Gwen. Gwen Terry's with us. I've not heard from you in ages, Gwen. <laughs> Say hello. Hi, everyone. Hope all is well. Hi, Jan in Ravello. Lovely Ravello. And also hi to Annie. He says, hi, everyone from Brizzle. Joining a bit late. Uh, what was the announcement at 2 o'clock? Three for two, cross-spectrum Nawaga. He's on the website till midnight. Go, go, go. How, oh, you've done it. 
Yes, but I haven't took it off my stamping platform because I've kept the craft card down. I'm going to just take away the top layer. So keep that in place and I'm just going to pop these back in. What I have then done is took my sentiment away and all we're going to do is stamp that flower down. Now this definitely doesn't need to be perfect, but I'll show you why we're doing this in a second. So we're just going to make sure, because that's in exactly the same place, all I want to do is make sure that that's stamped down underneath. So it gives us our sort of full image there. Still not stamping there. I don't know what's wrong with my... Um, hmm. I'm just going to put one more. If it doesn't do it, I'm not going to be too precious about it. So just putting that down. There we go, that's stamped a bit better now. Now nice. the only reason I want to do that is because, let's move these out the way and then pop these to the side. When you come to, when we come to colouring in, what I want to do, we want to match these up, but I want to put it slightly onto some foam pads. Yeah. So then you can slightly see underneath. So that's why I just wanted to get that bit stamped underneath. So when we then come to putting this back in, so you find that positioning of where it goes, just like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it across slightly and up slightly. And then what I would do is maybe just take a pencil and I'm just going to go on that line like that. It's just scribbling across there. Because what I want to do, you don't need to colour all of that section in. But I did want it to come in a little bit because when we put it on foam pads, you're then just going to slightly see underneath. Does yeah. that make sense? Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, right, so um, how is, shall we let uh, Sarah catch up and everyone catch up on their stamping? Because yeah. then once we've got to this stage, uh, we're going to start our colouring in. All right, excellent stuff. At this point as well, uh, any questions that you've got, you want to fire away, then please do. Um, must say hi to Kathy, who's joined us from Missouri. Evelyn's in from Colorado. Uh, hi to Carol from Wisconsin. Jamie Ennis, nice stuff on the table, Ben. I don't know what that means. Um, Do you maybe mean this? the Academy of Colours. Do you yeah. mean the Academy of mm. Colours? Does good, look it? good. Looks does, very nice. Does look. I just. No, it's all good. I was a bit worried because a little bit. I'll let you just see because we tell you everything. A little bit earlier on, um, Julia. Um, one of our uh, <laughs> lovely ladies who works here. She um, she's from up here, obviously, and the drink that they have up here is uh, Newcastle Brown Ale, um, which I haven't drunk for well twenty odd years. So she's been going for ages. I'll get you a bottle of Newcastle Brown. She brought a bottle in today, so I was slightly worried when you said nice stuff on the table that I'd left a bottle of beer, <laughs> um, which would have landed me in a lot of trouble. Uh, but it's not there, thank goodness. And Annie says, I love both those musicals. We're glad that you guys are enjoying the craft along and the sing along. Uh, we have got the details up for the original Academy of Colour. Uh, very busy for that today. Uh, you're going to get with that uh, the folder. Okay, that does come with it alongside everything else that I'll show you just now. But it's a 35% discount that you're going to be receiving today, which is incredible. Um, and then, of course, you'll get your Club Inspire discount on top. So if you're platinum, £76.80 or $102.40 incredible value and don't forget within the box you get the card which has that qr code on which will well basically let you enter uh, that realm of tutorials with uh, leanne 18 hours worth of tutorials uh, and it's the start of your journey and that's the brilliant thing i think you know whilst a few of the academy of color uh, boxes are currently out of stock if you're just starting off now you can pick up the original box today if you then want to go on and grab uh, the portraits and the flora and fauna the following two boxes they are also still available so the first three boxes are still um, available for you this here just shows you all the colors that you're going to be receiving within your original box. Um, it is all of these duo colours. You've got them in your, um, your alcohol marker. So you've got 16, I think, isn't it? Four? Yeah, 16. Um, and again, these colours dual ended, of course. So you've got all of the different uh, shades, all of the different blends within that. Um, and these are all of the colours that Leanne will be using as far as the tutorials are concerned. Not new colours to the range, but colours that have been curated especially for the Academy of Colour. Then, of course, you know, this isn't just about alcohol colouring. It's all about your water colouring as well. So then you get your first selection of your um, duo water colours as well. So you've got eight of those included. Again, dual ended pens. You've got your opaque white pen included in there, plus your spritzer. And you've got those two uh, paint brushes as well. So all of that included. On top of that, don't forget, you get your binder. In the binder, you get all of your project pockets. You get all of, I'll show you. <clears throat> 
You get all of the dividers in there too. Um, so this is basically the index of everything that is to come. I know the majority of you uh, have got all of these now as well, but you have your uh, index in there and then all of your dividers and what you get within each box too these are the stamps that you get by the way in the um, academy of color i've shown you now the original academy of color when you get the bolt-on boxes you will receive these panels as well to pop your stamps onto but look at this all of these stamps included in the original box and everything's been thought of if you're again wondering why have we got all these different shapes in starting you off on helping you to do all of your blending to do all of those you know when you're trying to color and like debbie was showing you earlier on like you know catching the light in all the right places you can practice practice on these stamps and then you can see you can move on uh, you know from the like of the circle to the cherries here uh, things like you've got your um, little uh, um What's that shape there? Thank you, dear, oh dear, cylinder. But again, you can use everything. Isn't it funny how you just can't get words out sometimes? You know what it is, but you just can't make it come out your mouth. Cylinder, again, you can uh, use that here with your, um, <laughs> with your all right, Johnny. Johnny just said it's weird that because a lot comes out of your mouth. I'm moving on. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I can see you laughing as well, Sarah. I can Sarah's having a good chuckle at that. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're also going to get uh, all of these as well, uh, which is your which is your uh, portrait. You've got the fairy, you've got the roses, you've got the butterfly in there too. Uh, and then this next set of stamps also comes in the um, original set as well. And then you get, as I've mentioned, all of these little project pockets. So uh, we were chatting about this earlier on. Use these pockets to keep you working. And what I think is a great idea is it, like, even if you start off and the first thing that you do, you look at it and you go, oh, that's absolute rubbish. Keep it and date it and pop it in one of these pockets and have that as like a starting point. And then as you go through and you do more within the Academy of Color, you can go back and you can contrast and compare and you can see where you are, say a month down the line, three months down the line, six months down the line. And you can look at that first thing that you did, which you didn't think was very good and go, well, actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. And look where I am now. It's a brilliant way to be able to do things. And um, so all of that is included. Oh. I'll put this back in, in a minute. Um, all of that is included within the set, um, all the stamps, the binder, all those pockets, and all the pens that I've just shown you as well. That's the original Academy of Color uh, for £76.80 or $102.40. And then we have those extra boxes as well. So if you want to go for um, you know, things like the flora and fauna or the portraits, um, you've got the ability to be able to do that as well. This is proving very popular today. I realize we've got new people watching all of the time. Um, so jump in, join it. Join that Facebook group as well that Debbie was talking about. Um, the Academy of Colour Facebook uh, group. I think 5,000 people you said in that group currently? 5,000 now, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Which is amazing. So definitely do it. Um, let us just pop back over. I love that how we just pop back over to Northern Ireland and uh, see how uh, Sarah is getting on. Um, is, it, is it all going well so far, Sarah? Are you up to speed? Yes. Excellent. I, I noticed as well, we were just saying, because I've got loads of screens in front of me, so I can see what, what Debbie's doing. I've got you in the bottom of my screen here. So I see you've got a friend um, giving you a bit of help as well. Are we going to um, give a shout out to your friend? Well, well. Oh, is your mum? Yeah. Oh, amazing stuff. Excellent. I, I wish I had a helper when I was doing it. Do you know what mum something. was also doing? Yeah. She was cleaning her stamps with our cleaning system. Was she? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Is, is, mum quite, is mum quite a good help? Yes. You have to say yes, really, don't you? You have to say yes. Um, does mum want to come on camera or is she camera shy? <laughs> Yay, we've got the hands. <laughs> <laughs> we got the hands. Um, have you got any questions for Debbie or are you all super duper so far? All good. All good. Ah, Excellent amazing. stuff. Uh, well, we're loving having you with us, as I say, and um, can't wait to see what you come up with uh, at the end. We love the wave from mum as well. Just a little hand coming in there, which is brilliant. Excellent stuff. All right, everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. Uh, let us get back onto it then. Um, as I've said, if you have just joined us, the uh, Spectrum Noir range three for two deal is on the website right now. It excludes the Academy of Colour, however, everything else. Uh, so do make sure you get shopping. Right. Uh, let's get back to Debbie. Let's get back to a business, absolutely. So we're going to take our white white uh, printed one and we're going to put it onto a piece of cardstock. Uh, and then I'm going to take my uh, DR2 and DR4. So that's our poppy and our ruby. Uh, and we're going to give this a colour in. We're also going to be using, let me just grab that one as well. We're also going to be using our green uh, in this collection, which is our pear green and our citrus green. Okay, so pop them to the side. So we're going to 
start with our lightest colour first uh, and we're going to lay down that poppy which is our DR2. Now what I would always say when you're starting off with, uh, when you're starting with colouring, uh, start off with one section first. So I'm just going to pick one section and we're going to just colour that in. So just nice and gently over the top just go into the edges and I'm really just tickling the surface. Um, you don't want to be putting like a heavy lay down of colour, we're just putting that one colour down yeah. just to give us that colour which is beautiful. And then we're going to switch to our second colour. So once you've got that laid down, we're going to switch to our ruby um, and then we're going to come in underneath there. Can you see, I'm going to come into that corner now anyone that's using a different stamp, you apply the same uh, sort of movements. All you need to do is make sure wherever you've got some overlapping or underlapping, I know that this petal is cut folding out. Now as it's folding out, the base of it here is going to be darker. So all I'm going to make sure I'm doing is putting that darker around what I think will be the darkest element. And then, then I'm going to come back in and just very slightly over those edges we're going to colour into that but not completely over so you can see we've got our beautiful coloured image now um, and the, the great thing about this is when we've done this one I'm going to compare it to my one with pencils first um, and then I think I might take a photograph because that's when you'll see the real difference when you then start to use your uh, colouring pencils over the top because actually Ben alcohol markers do an amazing job they give that definition they mm. add depth it looks amazing so I'm going to do exactly the same so we're going to start off with our lightest colour again and we're going to come in and just colour our next petal okay so I would say that's all you need to do is colour those in um hi to Claire Abs who's joined us saying hello Claire I'm a total newbie to Crafters TV but very much enjoying it we so love a newbie we do love a newbie she says so much so I've purchased some of the penny bundles to kick start slash boost my crafty stash yes um and you will have saved an absolute fortune just by the way claire just to kind of you know stem it a little bit we don't do penny deals every day it's not if you're tuning in, you think oh it's brilliant penny de no just uh, this is a one-off special but we do have some amazing sales shows as everyone will tell you uh, you say thank you for the warm welcome i'm in north norfolk uh, i'm sure i'll have plenty of questions in time but right now just enjoying uh, oh and spending says uh, claire um, and Tammy Ruppert says, I love all the education with the Academy of Colour. Uh, it's worth it if anyone is on the fence. Um, and that's the thing. You think about all the shows that we've done with the Academy of Colour. This craft along, of course, as well, that Debbie's doing right now. And then the 18 hours worth of tuition with Leanne. There's plenty of um, help and inspiration out there, Debbie, isn't there, for the oh, Academy so of Colour? Oh, so much so. Um, it's one of the things that I genuinely love mm. about Crafter's Companion. I always feel like there's someone to hold your hand, no matter what time of day or night it is. Um, the inspiration and the education that we offer with everything is incredible. Um, and the Academy of Colour, I think we took things to a whole new level. Yeah. Um, because the education on things is so important. Uh, I remember years ago, I mean, I've been crafting uh, quite a number of years, and I remember buying things thinking that they looked amazing because the demonstrator, I've gone to craft shows at Ali Pali and the NEC, um, and you come away like, and can't wait to use what you just bought. And then I can't remember how to do it. I can't yeah. remember what they've done. And I don't get the results like they've done. Um, and it, it used to leave me very frustrated um, because the education wasn't there. It was just, they want you to buy something. Yeah. But, and not all through someone's fault. Many years ago, we didn't have um, Facebook and you know live streams and, mm. and places that we could go and get that education. We certainly didn't have uh, blogs and that were well known and, and crafters that were well known. So I think we're very lucky that we have a system now um, with uh, social social and internet um, that that really helps people um, and it doesn't make anything too scary anymore. I yeah. think people are willing to give anything a try. That's it, isn't it? It's, it's all about the after sales, isn't it, really, I think. And I always liken it to the fact that if, you know, even still now, if you were to go into a store, for example, and, you know, you like the idea of a set or, uh, you know, a product, you bought it off the shelf and you got it home, then you'd be like, oh, no, I'm not quite sure what to do now. But that never happens with us because, you know, if you've bought something off a live show, you've got that specific live show uh, to be able to actually then go back to 
It's um, nearly colouring you in then, Ben. I know, watch me shirt. D don't get any red on me shirt, Debbie, what you like. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine that? Just, <laughs> come, come in. <laughs> Jamie's going, oh, let's do a magic trick. Just get a red pen, <laughs> colour your sleeve in, then come back in shot. <laughs> so well, expensive we shirt, and I've got it's not actually. It's colour not. you in there, look. <laughs> uh, oh, woo, look at what you mean. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> oh. Nope. oh, hang on. Oh. Oh, Two. I don't know why we're doing this, but... Oh, you... <laughs> oh, get off, get off, get off! <laughs> oh, that way! <laughs> you're oh, very funny. Dear, you're very funny. <laughs> uh, but the point that was, I was saying, before Debbie started colouring me in, you're never left alone here. And if you are new to us, like um, Claire, we're not always this... Oh, actually, no, we are always this silly. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> Obviously, you found us on... Claire, you're on YouTube, aren't you? Yes, so you've got all of our shows, literally since day dot, to go back to. If you subscribe to Crafters TV on YouTube, you can then uh, make your own playlists, save your favourite shows, um, get notifications when we're going live. Um, it's just a really, really brilliant thing. I just noticed you changing pens there. Debbie. Yes, yeah, so just switching to my green. So I'm doing my citrus green now, and then we're going to use our pear green as well. Okay. So uh, just using that. Um, yeah, and the other thing to remember as well, uh, Ben, which I think is really important, is that there's a whole community of beginner crafters, yeah. newbies, uh, but as well as um, intermediate, advanced crafters, and everybody just gives so much lovely advice and feedback. I don't think I've ever read a post where someone's not complimented someone no. on what they've done, because no matter what you do, it is amazing. And mm -hmm. I genuinely mean that, because you've done it. So regardless of if you don't think you're a perfect colorist, your coloring is amazing because you've done it. And then to be on a system that teaches you so much about yeah. coloring, um, where you cannot go wrong, because I mean, that saying, you know, practice makes perfect, is yeah. so true in this. Um, it's just, yeah, I just love this system. Now, all I've done then is just slightly, very slightly brush with that darker color, and then coming in with the lightest color. And you can see it's not taking too long to uh, colour this in. Your leaf pattern is really clever because it actually just, you follow that line. So all I'm doing is very slowly doing wisps down where my leaf grid is sort of going. Mm. So you don't need to do any more than that. You don't yeah. need to add any more to that. All I'm going to then do is not go over it with my lightest colour, go between it. Okay. And that's just going to blend those colours in together. I mean, this is the pure joy of alcohol colouring, yeah. is it's so easy to do. So you can see straight away the definition we've got in this leaf to what we have in these leaves. Now, the next one I want to do, because I can see this shading is directly near my uh, rose, what I want to do is the darker shade, and I'm going to do that all over that piece there, because that's where that darkness is coming. And then I'm just going to come out just a little bit into that piece and then show the lightest side so it's getting some light coming to it but we're following that rule of where your dark and light will be and i know that that's quite dark underneath because that's where my flower is and then the same with this last leaf here we're just going to move this round and i'm just going to follow that round and then follow that into those patterns that we've already got so we're still adding that definition. We're still getting that beautiful um, colouring. But we want to enhance even more, which is why mm. we're going to bring in our, um, our uh, pencils. Um, busy for the Academy of Colour today. Do you, this this like, fills me with joy because you, I, we, we've got new people joining us all the time. And I, I just we think we always, always assume that people bought the Academy of Colour and, you know, that, that's it now. But we've got new people joining us all the time, so it's lovely that you're jumping in and grabbing it today. Um, just want to say hi to Cheryl as well. Lots of lovely comments coming in for Sarah. And Cheryl says, isn't uh, Sarah on Craft Along a darling? I, I wish I was brave enough to go on Crafters TV. Yeah, Sarah, says Cheryl. Oh, please, Cheryl, be brave enough because, honestly, we don't bite. We're very nice. Uh, I think, uh, Sarah, you must be the happiest person I've ever seen on Crafters yes, TV. Yes, definitely Apart that. Apart from, obviously, Ben, of 
course. <laughs> 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 uh, right, so Ben, we've done our main one now. Um, we're going to switch. So we just have a little break, let everyone catch up with that bit of colouring. Yes. And then we're going to now switch then to our craft card and do exactly the same with our craft card piece. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Um, the chat's still going on with Claire, who's new, who's joined us, and Cheryl the same. Claire, you'll be hooked like the rest of us before you know it, lol. We're a kooky, wonderful group. I think that's a great way to describe us here. Kooky, kooky <laughs> and wonderful. Uh, hi, Gilmore. Gilmore's joined us saying, hello, Ben, Debbie, Sarah, our superstar, Susie Superstar, uh, and also Crafty Peeps. We've got um, uh, Johnny and Jamie in the, uh, the gallery today. Uh, Laurel's saying, Debbie, I'm loving how easy you are making the shading on that rose look. Again, the point is with this, you've got so much tuition within the academy that you two are, you two are going to be able to do this. That's the point. Um, any more questions and comments, fire them in. We're going to take a break in a second. Just before we do, we just want to uh, reiterate that we do still have the two following on boxes from the original Academy of Colour available for you. So it's a great day to be a newbie with the Academy of Colour today because you can get the first three boxes. Uh, this one is the portrait. Once again, you get um, a brand new set of the um, duo colour colors you get the uh, aqua duo colors as well uh, more stamps in there more cardstock too and of course your panel to be able to store all of those on within your folder 27 pounds 19 35 dollars 96 so that was the box that followed on from the original academy of color and then we've got the box that followed on from the portrait still available for you as well uh, which is your flora and fauna and once again uh, that's more of the uh, duo colors more of your uh, aqua duo colors more watercolor card alcohol marker card uh, that stamp panel and more stamps in there as well. Uh, discounted by almost £15 over $20, platinum price £27.19 or £35.96. Um, we are going to take a short break. Remember, you can uh, shop the cartload show right now as well. That is where our uh, penny sale is and a free gift as well. Talking about Spectrum Noir products, we've got our metallic um, paint markers in the um, molten copper. For anything that you buy from the cartload category, you will get those thrown into your basket for free. And talking to Spectrum, Spectrum Noir, we've got that three for two deal across the range, excluding the Academy of Colours. Uh, but if you love our Spectrum Noir range, get shopping until you drop in, because uh, those deals are only there until midnight. All right, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, more with Debbie, uh, more of your questions and comments, and we'll see you in about three or four minutes. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. We get 
get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in you know we see the same same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing, the messages I get are amazing. Me personally it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the thing she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family welcome back everybody thank you for checking out your baskets um sarah's just disappeared sarah not our sarah sarah in australia uh, he says okay guys needing to go um sarah enjoyed the craft along it's now after 12 30 a.m friday morning in um, australia uh, good to see you all again see you soon night night sarah uh Teresa says i am loving this bit different for a craft along isn't it it's quite nice i'm, I'm really enjoying this uh, and jamie ennis says i'm doing coloring too uh, doing a beautiful card for someone's birthday um yeah loads of lovely comments coming through let us know if you um are coloring along maybe you're not doing this particular project but you're doing some coloring right now send in your pics at the end of the show and we'll, we'll try and squeeze a little gallery in or certainly uh, a little bit later um we'll do that but we do have uh, the lovely sarah in northern ireland who is uh coloring with us the smiliest happiest uh, craft along guest you've ever seen um in fact let's well we're just going to quickly go back and just check in make sure everything's still uh sailing along nicely in uh in northern ireland all still going well the coloring going well yes w did you which stamps did you use in the end um was it slightly different to debbie's ones uh oh ah uh, from Ooh, the original look at that that looks amazing how good is that fantastic stuff so far i must just say as well sarah um i was telling the guys in the break so obviously you've got my picture there on the the chair and then just above the picture there's a card there isn't there and did did you did you win that on uh, on my facebook page yes yeah i remember <laughs> there's not too many of those mosby originals flying around but i think um can you can you remember how long ago that was was that quite a while ago okay uh, was it okay? So you've got a, you've got the picture, you've got a, a handmade card. So can we ask Sarah who her favourite is? <laughs> oh, she's oh, so sorry. No. Oh, no, Sarah, no. I'm impressed. I thought you were going to say it was Ben. <laughs> did, uh, did you get the joke book as well, uh, Sarah? No. Oh, you yet. haven't got the joke no. book yet. Yeah, she she likes she likes uh, the pictures of the cards, one. but not the jokes. Not the jokes. <laughs> I don't blame you, uh, Sarah. I don't blame you. All right, well, it looks like you're having a great time, so we'll we'll crack on. I'll stop wittering on. Um, we are going to do the next bit, aren't we? Absolutely, yes. So we're going to take our craft card now, and we're going to do exactly the same, um, but this time, where uh, remember when we put our piece of paper here? I've got a little line, so I don't need to colour above there or down past this piece. 
Okay. Um, so all we're going to do is I'll start with let's start with the flower like we did before. So I'm just going to come in and just in the middle section up to that line that I've created because I don't need so I don't want to waste my ink really more than anything else. So let's do just that piece there and then we can do that one at the top. Now what you can see is that it's you get a darker variant. Uh, on your craft cardstock than what you do on your normal one but it still looks nice together so let's just then put our darkest so again coming in with the darker one we're going to follow that same rule of thumb uh, where we think that sort of that that darker so where our petals are overlay overlapping uh, we're going to bring in that darker one into there and then still come in with our lightest color just to tickle the edges so that fills in that gap and then we're going to do the same. Most of this will be fairly dark here. And then just around those edges inside. Okay. And then again, just blend those out. Slightly blend. I do love that um, Leanne and the team have put the brush nibs on these because brush markers are so uh, so much nicer to, um, to colour with. Mm. I mean, they all have a place, Ben. I love my, um, my original tri-blend markers, um, and they do have that um, uh, sort of bullet nib, but I, I do love a brush nib to, uh, to colour with. feels like you're almost painting. Yeah. Um, Annie Cagle says, Ben, send Sarah a joke book. And Michelle says, I agree. Ben needs to send Sarah a joke book personally signed. And she might not want one. She <laughs> might not want the joke. She, might, she likes the picture. No, I'm, so we'll, we'll ask her next time we go back. But I, I'm not going to force my terrible jokes on her if she doesn't want them, <laughs> am I? To be honest with you as well, I'm not, I'd have to have a bit of a scout around. See if we, because they, I mean, they were so popular that I don't, I don't think there's any left. Who am I kidding? There's probably a lock up full of them somewhere. <laughs> um, but <laughs> did you get a joke book, Debbie? No, Ben, I didn't. You did not. <laughs> I, but then that's bad me. I should have ordered that day. Yeah. I was going to. I was going to, honestly. And then I don't know what happened. I think I got distracted. <laughs> Jamie, you just said you've heard them all before, though, Debbie, anyway. <laughs> well, that's very true. <laughs> Although, I mean, a bit controversial as it's Jamie's last day, but um, uh, <laughs> his dad jokes are worse than yours. <laughs> Jamie's? Oh. Oh my goodness, have you not heard Jamie's jokes? He's always uh, joking. Yeah, yeah you, you, you have to do a groan. joke with Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Jamie's last day today. I know, yeah, it's very sad. Mm. It's just, um, but obviously, uh, moving on to better things, hey, Jamie? Off the past Off is the new. Off the past was new. He's not had a good day, though. So. <laughs> no, he hasn't had a good day. <laughs> He said, if you thought my day got off to a bad start yesterday when I poured uh, the, the, hot, the hot water into my coffee pot instead of the coffee mug, uh, Jamie's... Oh, no. Yeah, did, have you ever... You, well, I say this in the nicest possible way, Debbie. You know I say this with love. I, I, I kind of think you've probably done something as absent-minded because we always have these conversations. But yesterday morning, I put, I'd spooned the coffee out of the coffee jar into my mug yep. and then boiled the kettle, and, but I'd left the pot next to the cup yeah. And I was pouring the water and I was thinking about the shows and as I was pouring it, I looked down and I'd actually poured all of the hot water into the No, into not the into the coffee, coffee jar. jar instead of the cup. Yeah, it's about five pounds. Well I was jar. gonna say Gone. coffee is not cheap, is no. it? And Laura's like, You're gonna drink that? So I'm, well, of course <laughs> I'm not gonna drink it. <laughs> Am I? Can you imagine? So I actually, is, there's a good question. So even though you've added water, mm. you could probably still use that coffee. Well, you'd, yeah, but you'd have to then pour it into a bigger container, wouldn't you? And then like keep pouring to, di <laughs> to dilute it even more. <laughs> Did you bin it then? Yeah. Oh dear. And then here's the, here's the even worse kicker. So when I go home of an evening, I like coffee first thing, tea at night. So I went home last night, had a cup of tea with me dinner. And then I got up this morning, uh, I thought, oh, I have a nice cup of cup. Ah, no coffee. Laura didn't go out. And get oh me no, <laughs> she probably thought that a teacher. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we are. Oh dear. Never mind. Well, yes. Yeah, so Jamie's day was a little bit worse than yours today. Then. Yeah, it was a little bit. Are we saying what happened to Jamie? Or yeah, he had his car stolen this oh, morning. No. But they, but they've recovered it. It's been found. But yeah, you're supposed to be earlier on. We're like, where's Jamie? Yeah, 
That's rubbish, isn't it? It is a bit rubbish. But he, they found it, thankfully. I thankfully. mean, I've many a time thought my car was stolen. Oh, <laughs> the worst one I did last, last week. You thought your car... What do you mean? Because I've mean? lost it in the car park. That is brilliant. <laughs> the worst one was, right, last week, I was hunting oh, no. everywhere for my car. Everywhere. Yeah. And I, I just, I thought, this is ridiculous. How can you lose a car? And I've walked, I'm not even kidding you, I've walked up and down all the aisles. I've walked across. How can I lose? And this is what I said to myself. How can I lose a bright yellow card? Yeah. And, and as I said that, I realised that I didn't have my bright yellow car with me. I had Al's black car because I dropped him off at the train <laughs> station. So I wasn't even looking for his car, I was looking for my car. That's hilarious. <laughs> so funny. Only me, only me, honestly. So, uh, yeah, I'm just a little bit, little bit dizzy. <sighs> Dear, oh dear. I've actually took a friend home from um, the supermarket before because they had heavy bags of shopping. Mm. Got her home and her husband said to her, where's your car? <laughs> and she, what, she just she'd forgotten that she had a car at the supermarket. So I had to take her back <laughs> to get a car. <laughs> So in summary, yes, Debbie has done more absent-minded things than me uh, than pouring some hot water into a coffee jar. Uh, yeah, my, I mean, my, my story sort of pales into insignificance, really, doesn't it? Uh, Why have I always got a story? It's terrible, isn't it? Because that's... That's me. Who you are. I am that's very... That's why we love you. Very ditzy. Uh, yeah, I am... I <laughs> Stephen! <laughs> Stephen Lee Guy says, you're so blonde, Debbie. I always say that, though. Oh, dear. Right, we've got our two pieces. I've actually gone, I think I've told this story before, but I have come out of somewhere before and tried to get in my car and couldn't, and it wouldn't work, and it kept bleeping. And I've tried to open the door, I've gone round, I've put the key in, nothing's worked. My friend Robbie's come out of the shop and said, are you right, Debbie? I said, I can't get in my car. He went, what, my one? Oh, my car no. was next to it. Oh, dear. <laughs> no, they were completely different <laughs> car, but they were the same <laughs> colour. <laughs> I shouldn't really tell you these stories, because I am very ditzy. I've always... And I always used to worry, because but my mum says it's always because I've got always something else on my mind. I've always got so much going through my head. I'm thinking of the next thing and not the thing that I'm in. So that's just You're me. so funny. I know, Honestly. I know. Uh, right, so we've got our two coloured images, so you can see we get that real variation mm. of colour. Uh, and actually, Ben, that looks beautiful, Does. doesn't it? But let me bring in my uh, card, which we've then enhanced. Look Ooh, at the difference of yeah. that. Now, the depth and dimension that we're then going to do next is adding in those pencils, and that's where you get... So, yes, this is beautiful uh, and adds real, just beautiful colouring. So if that's all you want to do, you can stop there. But actually, what we've done here is we've used our pencils on top, and now we've got... It, it really looks like our petals have lifted up off the page. It's giving extra dimension, and it's just a really nice way to do. So we're going to be doing our pencil colouring next. It's like... HD to ultra HD, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, way to, absolutely, to, to absolutely, which um, makes a real big difference. Uh, just a few more comments coming in. Jules saying, loved your joke book, Ben. Thank you. Uh, Hi, Debbie, says Tesha on Facebook. Hi, Tesha. Gilmore says this with love. Ben, if you work more, you might be used to coming into work. <laughs> They know you well, Ben. I'm in every day. I'm always in here. I mean, most days. Most days I'm in here. I've, I've worked about 14 of the last 16 days. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying a word because I'll be off soon for a few weeks. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I don't want to say anything. So um, most of May I'm going to be off for. You're going to be off till the 1st of May? Most of May. Oh, most of May. Mm. Hashtags like her. <laughs> I'm here right throughout May. Oh, actually, apart from the last week when it's half term, we're going away. But three weeks of May. Three more weeks than she is. <laughs> um, Lucille saying, Ben, use a strong coffee to add as a marinade or extra seasoning for beef. That's what cowboys do. Yeehaw. And Gilmore says, I have lost my car in the parking lot and tried to open a car that wasn't mine, wondering why the remote wasn't working. <laughs> ah, I'm so glad that's not just me. <laughs> um, and just a quick question before we move on from Carol Ann Hanley, who says, will the new glitter paste work on craft card? 
The new glitter pens, yeah, absolutely. The glitter pens. Oh, paste, yeah. yes. Yeah, look amazing. Yeah. They'll work on pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, and Jules says, our oh, blessing, Ben is a legend. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I've, I've read out all my comments. Are we going oh, back yes. to... Yeah, we go oh, back to our pencils, pencils. now. Uh, so if you haven't got the new Academy of Colour, or, or it hasn't come yet, or you haven't managed to get it, or you didn't go for it, you can can use your colour blend pencils yes. then uh, have you got some colour blend pencils well they're on the cartload show near you yeah let me have those because i'll just show you um the difference sort of between yeah. them um i mean the main difference is you're getting two pencils in one with these ones, Which ones do you thank want? you very much um Primaries. what colours we've got reds those ones mm. and greens do you know what if you were to buy that oh, no, i have those ones okay. do you know if you were to buy that today and on those. the <laughs> You know, if you were to buy that today on yes. Cartload, I'd give you that for a penny. Can I have that for a penny then? Yeah, go on thank then, you pay you. me later. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, right, so we'll use these as well. So for anyone that's got any colour blend pencils. Um, now, what the difference is with these colour blend pencils, so let's just uh, grab, uh, there's no red in that one, is there? Let's grab one out of here. This one's already open. So let's grab a sort of deeper red, this one here. So the difference with this one is... I'm just going to grab myself another pencil there. Uh, is there thicker? So can you see, if I put them two of them together, let's get one that's a little bit lighter so you'll be able to see them. Uh, you've got two different size pencils. The colour blend, you're getting so much more yeah. core inside them. So you can see by the tips, you've got a stumpier tip as, uh, tip, tip as well. Uh, so you're getting a lot more wax in there. And plus, um, there's, uh, you've got a whole pencil where this one's got the two colours in yeah. them as well. Uh, so that's the difference with them. But they've both got high quality pigmented wax pencil, well, pen, uh, pigment inside yeah. them, which is amazing. So if you have got the colour blend pencils, you can absolutely use those. Uh, and I would say just use whichever colour uh, enhances. So what I want to do to start with, you may have thought it's funny that I've got myself out. It's, oh, I didn't want that one. I wanted a purple. Because reds and purples actually go really well together. So I've got, this one is called... Um, let me find the writing, deep purple. That was nice and easy. Uh, and all I want to do with the deep purple is we're gonna take this underneath our leaves okay. because this is where we're gonna start pushing our leaves out to give that dimension. Now the purple is quite a nice deep color and it complements the, um, the red, but I don't wanna keep it purple. I just wanna add that dimension. So in small circular motions, I'm just building up that color. Can you see, so straight away, we've got that real darkness around there. Mm. And then we're gonna do that going around all of our, where, where our sort of guidelines are. So it doesn't matter what image you're coloring in, you can still get this same effect. Is this something you do as a matter of course then when you're coloring, or do you just sometimes go, color with me alcohol pens, I'll leave it, or are you tempted a lot of the time now to use your pens on top? I would love to use them all the time. Pencils rather. Yeah, yeah. I would absolutely love to use them all the time because I think they really do enhance. You cannot get this sort of enhancement with um, alcohol pens. Mm. You can add darker colour, but eventually you're gonna get the line where you can see where one colour doesn't go into the next. With pencils, it doesn't matter that you're using a completely different colour. I could use a brown on there if I wanted to, or even a black if I wanted to add that real intensity. Once I've got that shading where I want it there, I can then come in and add my reds on the top. So that is then when we're gonna start to really see our blending in our imagery. So we're just gonna go over that, blend that in. And because it's gonna work so well with our alcohol coloring, it's on a totally different level. Yeah. And you can see straight away, I mean, this is just one leaf. Look at how much depth we've got just in that one petal. Incredible, yeah. And I'm still leaving my alcohol coloring because I don't want to, go, I mean, you've took time to color that in. So you don't want to color it up, but all we want to do is make sure that we're getting that blending. Mm. So what I always like to do is come in with a lighter color and then just start blending on top. And that's gonna really give you just so much depth into that one petal. Um, Gilma says, Ben is here in May, but good luck finding him in June, July and August. <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, yeah, cr yeah, cricket starts, <laughs> isn't it? So yeah, good luck. Uh, 
Kara says, I've stood outside a shop complaining to my mum how dirty my car is and where the scratches came from to find out it wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> See, we've all done it. Um, better say, Crafters TV really is my happy place and is much more than a crafty show. Uh, loads of people laughing at your story as well, Debbie. Me saying, <laughs> hilarious, Debbie. Debbie, I've done that, says Karen. Uh, you're not alone. And Samantha Chase says, Debbie, that happened to my sister and a friend. We went shopping at a big mall where there was a, a long... Which, which, which was a long... Hang on, went shopping at a big mall. Didn't realise we left out of the opposite side of the mall and looked for the car. Oh, we thought it had been stolen. It was a new red Thunderbird. We walked around the mall and were ready to call police, but finally spotted it. We laughed <laughs> all the way home. I know, you have to laugh, don't you? Yeah. I've, I've, done, I, I've done it at, um, at um, what's the, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, the bus where you get off a bus. Oh, park and ride. Park and ride. Yeah. I've done it at the park and ride. <laughs> I've always got a story, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> so I parked, got on the, bu the bus, went into town, was in Norwich, mm. come back, didn't realise. So if I've looked for my car, knew where I'd parked it. So you know when you've got something in your head where you know you've parked it there? I was so close to ringing the police because I thought my car had definitely been stolen. And then I thought, well, maybe, I, and, and I was with my mum at the time, and she said, well, let's look at, uh, over there. And I said, but I didn't park it over there. <laughs> I said, the bus was here, we got off here, I parked it there. And then she went, yes, but the bus come in the other side, didn't it? We'd literally got him coming, got off the bus on one side and come in on the bus on the other side of the car oh, park no. so it was a completely different way round and then when I realised <laughs> that I found the car straight away because it was where I thought I'd parked it but that it was just it was the opposite so way funny. to the car park so yeah I've done that as well Deanna just says Debbie I tried several times to open my car door one day whilst I was shopping <laughs> and it wouldn't open with the key fit in but it wouldn't unlock I stood there trying for five minutes scratching my head starting to panic I looked a little closer it was the same exact colour and model uh, but mine was on the other side <laughs> I feel you, Debbie, says Deanna. <laughs> um, and Carolyn just says, not only do I love watching the demos and craft alongs, but I love the interaction between the hosts. Uh, you all make everything so much fun. Do you uh, know so what? I love you guys so much <laughs> for making me feel like I'm not so ditzy. <laughs> But the thing is, whenever we sort of chat and tell these stories, you can guarantee at least one person will have done the same. And it looks like lots of you have done the same in this instance. Um, Carolyn says, it's like crafting with my own friends with lots of laughter. Uh, Jules says, I need the new pencils. My craft room is calling them. If you want those um, uh, colour blends, they're on the cartload. Shop the show. Get the second tin for a penny. Uh, and Lucille Vega says, Ben, don't forget to blow us a kiss for the Benny Sale cartload. It's the p -p penny sale. Not a <laughs> the Benny sale. Benny sale. I love sale. the Benny sale. Have uh, you ever been called Benny? <laughs> yeah, like, like yeah. My, my dad calls me Benny quite a lot. Oh, and Laura nice. now and again will be like, oh, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Benny. Oh, oh Benny. Benny. <laughs> it's not usually like that. It's normally like, oh, Benny. Uh, yeah, I get, I get called Benny. <laughs> 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 a dog walking <laughs> voice. <laughs> Benny! Benny! <laughs> uh, Gwen says, uh, so Hubby and I went to Lowe's. I texted him asking, where are you? He texted back, I've just got home from Lowe's. <laughs> I texted <laughs> him, there. I went with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's Gwen <laughs> Terry. That's the message of the day. That is brilliant. Hudson's gone home and left you. I was able to tell him I was with you. <laughs> that is brilliant. That is, that is so, so funny. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Did he come back? Yeah, did you see Johnny come back to get you? Or did he say get the bus? <laughs> that is hilarious, Gwen, for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. Love that story. <laughs> 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 oh my, my, my. You guys are too much. Oh, isn't it oh. lovely hearing everyone else's stories? Oh, I know. Makes you feel better about yourself, doesn't it? <laughs> it makes me feel so much better about myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. Just at least we have good stories to tell. That's it. That is it. Uh, I'm just wondering whether we should name and shame hubby now. <laughs> 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 you bet he hasn't done it again, said Johnny. 
<laughs> That's so funny, I've just reread it. <laughs> <laughs> I just got home from Lowe's. I texted him, I went yeah, with where you. are you? <laughs> oh my goodness me. He obviously had something on his mind. <laughs> oh dear. But it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh dear. How are you getting on over there? Yes, I'm just colouring away. So this is something you can be really mindful with, Ben, and take mm. your time and really just, um, and you can see how much definition that we've given this. So, so nice. Uh, and uh, all the time, preserving that highlight in the middle so you're getting all those different layers. Uh, what I also like with pencils as well, Ben, is you really do get um, a, a texture. You get a texture from pencils as well. Yeah. Um, so it does make them look more realistic, especially when you're colouring in your flowers. Oh, dear. And that purple just really works, that deep purple. But if you've got a brown or um, a sort of darker colour, you, you can use that as well. Mm. So don't feel like you just have to follow what I'm doing. This is just about adding that definition, adding those layers and really blending in because pencils um, need to be blended in like you layer them on top of each other. So don't go too in too heavy to start with. Yeah. I want to make sure that even I've put that purple down, that is really just for my um, sort of dark shade. I want to be able to get that contrast in red. So that's why I'm then colouring over the top of the purple because I wouldn't get that same shade in if I went in with just the red. Mm. It's incredible watching you build that up. It looks And amazing. you can see I'm just doing really small circular yeah. motions. So but it's giving us all those different layers. Yeah, it's a really just and it's such I mean, I know we always use the word sort of your well-being, but it's such a lovely craft to do colour in. Um, <laughs> and when you can add it, <laughs> what else is coming now? <laughs> Car Karen, Karen Powell, I took my car into the garage seven miles from where I lived. I caught the train to pick it up. Uh, parked in the supermarket car park, did my shopping, and then caught the train home. Oh, no. <laughs> True story. <laughs> These are just brilliant. So good. <laughs> uh, Kim said, That's I think. That's so frustrating. Debbie needs to write a book with all of her stories, and I Gilmore says, I agree. The life and times of Debbie Fisher. <laughs> I love Perhaps that. That should be my giveaway book. <laughs> Oh With all these stories, stories. it would be a novel, I think, wouldn't it? <laughs> Rather than a, the, the book. <laughs> yeah, there you go. For I your next part, I never realised until I started telling my stories on air how bad my stories were. <laughs> So funny. <laughs> right, so I'm not going to do too much to this. I feel like that's quite nice. In fact, I just want to work that in a little bit more on this edges. Um, and just... There we go. Just to let, get that a little bit more blended in. But I'm loving, absolutely loving the texture uh, this is now created on here. Um, and then, shall we, uh, are we going to have a break or shall we let people catch up and then we'll do our leaves? Yes? All right, then we'll stop there for a, uh, a few minutes then. All right. Uh, Theresa said, I'm going to have to try this technique when my set arrives. Yeah, again, it's, it's great to see it, isn't it? Because I think I've seen it maybe on a couple or three occasions, uh, but I know it's spoken about quite a lot when you can use your pencils to enhance um, your alcohol colouring. This deal that you're seeing on screen here, that, that is for the, um, the primaries and the essentials. It's, it's in the cartload category on the website. So if you search the shop the show cartload, basically, you'll see this. You buy the primary uh, pen set for the, the normal price, and then we give you the essentials for a penny, which is ridiculous, really, when you consider its core spectrum our product 20 pounds or 27 dollars 97 if you like the sound of that by the way loads and loads of penny um, deals for you on the website tonight plus don't forget you might not have heard at the top of the show chatted about it a few times uh, as far as spectrum noir is concerned we've got a three for two right across the range aside from your academy of colors so if you love spectrum noir and you want to stock up maybe you want to try uh, some new items it's a great day to shop but do it before midnight yeah, and here's the thing like you forget about some of the amazing items we've launched recently shimmer ink pads on the three for two the glitter pastes are they in there as well johnny uh three for two oh, on wow. those tri blends tri color brush pens so There's they the don't have to be the same item no it's just a three for two wow. across the range wow 
uh, Spectrum Noir Collector's Edition that's in there. Um, it's worth a really, really good look. But Aqua Blend uh, tint in there, but uh, do it before uh, midnight tonight. The big tubs of the Gilding Flakes are also in there. Do have a look. Uh, Jules Gordon says, Debbie's Tales. I like that. I like that. <laughs> uh, Rhonda says, 28 years ago, it was minus 30F one night. Uh, I got home from work and started the car to warm it up, locked it and kept the key to open the door. Uh, w went inside to get ready to go to the grocery store, got a phone call, then forgot. The car ran out of gas at 3.30 and oh, died. No. Battery dead and no gas, <gasps> lol. I called Ken, who is now my hubby. Oh. The rest is history. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That's hilarious. <laughs> just left it just chugging away on the drive. Um, and Altje de Vries says, nice to see how you are colouring in circles, Debbie. I love it. Um, let's quick, we're going to have a break, but let's just quickly pop on over and see how uh, Sarah is doing. She's been very busy uh, with her colour blades. Have you been enjoying all of Debbie's stories, by the way, Sarah? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what is she like, honestly? <laughs> you think she makes them up, but it's all true. Um, Unfortunately. How's your eh? Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> how's, that, how's all your colouring going so far? Can we have a look how you're doing? Oh, let's oh, have a look. Oh, beautiful. Go full screen on that, just, uh, just have a look. Oh, can we? Oi, oi. I'm going to try. Here we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, not that. Oh, they're oh. nice ink pads. That's not. <laughs> hang on. We're going to try and get to you, Sarah, I think. There we go. Oh, up a bit. Up, 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 up a bit. Uh, oh, hang on. <laughs> Give me back to Sarah. There we go. Sarah. That's stop, amazing. Stop, stop. <laughs> what do you reckon, Debbie? It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, it re works really well, those stamps that uh, she's yeah. used there from that Academy of Colour, which shows you, you get so many different stamps across all the different ones. It doesn't matter which one you've got. They're all going to work with the same technique. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> uh, Sarah, it looks like it. I know it's probably a silly question. Are you having a great time? Because it looks like you are. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Well, I tell you what, we will let you um, just uh, carry on for now. We're going to take a short little break uh, and then we'll come back to you and uh, we'll be soon finishing up, I think, as well. Uh, lots of lovely comments coming in as well uh, about you, Sarah, which is fantastic. Uh, do let us know what you're thinking of the project uh, so far. <laughs> let us know. Uh, let us know uh, what you're thinking of our lovely guest, uh, Sarah. Um, and just <laughs> quickly before we do go to a break, um, <laughs> Carolyn says... The pens. <sighs> the pen. Uh, do you know what? Let's go for a break because they're. Oh, oh, so Jamie hasn't got the break light. Are you all right, Jamie? Anyone would think you're leaving today. Well, you missed it. While you was looking at your iPad, it was on me. So oh, was I, it actually? I was just waving. <laughs> Jamie's out. He's, 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 it's his last day. He's not got off to a best start. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll let him off. Are we going to a break, Jamie? Are we going to do that now? <laughs> All right, we'll do that and then we'll, we'll come back. We'll let him go and have a lie down for about three minutes. <laughs> Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You didn't it was better than your arm and no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, flip that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody's gone, gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV.
once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time, so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Pokey tools and paper pads, gilding, wax and stamping mats, scissors, glitter, builder blocks, faux snow fabric, rocker blocks, Brea's misters, quilting clips, and diapers, tools, precision snips, finger daubers, acetates, stencils, glue guns, and templates, Gemini Pro, Julia and the OG, Gemini Go, Mini and the Midi, Cryblend brush pens, aqua pens and aqua blends, illustrators, classics and dry blends, and color blends, and glitter pens, and sparkle pens, outliner pens. Fine tip glue applicators, envelope box creators, stamping platforms, box of boards, the big score and scoreboard. Nina card and craft card, glitter card, my flat card, craft kits, wadding and adhesive sheets, glass mats, guillotines and pen trays, ball tool dice and zinc trays, mitre tools and binding tools and toe bugs, USBs, bone folders and punches, low tap tape and brushes, stamens, mailboard, flower forming foam. Alpine markers, DVD spells, quick try and pads and CDs, gilding flakes and washi tape, tacky glue, red liner tape, craft mask, full press, sparkle pots, and churro pile and sticky dots, pigment ink pads, chunky glue, body bags, all purpose glue, embossing folders, blending tools, storage folders, much more too. Water reactive ink pads, body bags, craft magnets, gear of craft and glue, stick, stick and spray and stick away. Dotty tape and split pens, acrylic paint pens, tape pens, watercolor card, rotary cutters, magazines and stamping card, ultimate Pro and the rotating design board. Opta, but first, Compen, Gideon, Sara, Signature Collections, and don't forget Discovery Kids. Oh, and there's foam pads, think that's it. One final thing, foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Love that, Sarah. Great job. Michelle says, beautiful job, Sarah. Beautiful, Sarah, says Valerie. Bonita says, beautiful, Sarah. Well done, Sarah, says Thea. Meef Sievers, super job, Sarah. And Mary Pat saying, beautiful colouring, Sarah. So there's always lovely comments coming through. You will have to read them for yourselves when we're finished. Um, and Christy Mahoney says, looks so good, Sarah. You are doing a fantastic job. Uh, and Eleanor saying, your flowers look amazing, Sarah. You are doing wonderful. So that's brilliant. Lots and lots of love uh, for Sarah's project so far I tell you what let's get into the um, next part of the, the the craft log and then I'll read there's more funny stories coming through uh, so we'll, we'll read those as we craft oh I um, love it love what's it the so next much. part then Debbie uh, right so now we're going to do our uh, bottom half of our um, stem here and then we're going to do our craft card uh, so what I am going to bring in is our um, pen so we've got our sage um, I'm not going to use the, uh, the uh, avocado because it's quite a light color but what I am going to bring in, we're going to bring in a darker colour. So I'm bringing in a darker brown because all I want to do is with a darker brown, I want to just come in underneath the actual, right under the flower because that's just going to give me that extra darkness that you won't be able to get with another green pen. So can you see, we've just done that shading at the top there and I'm just going to slightly bring that down and then I'm also going to do the same just in these corners, just a little tiny bit coming in to add that definition. Doesn't need to be a lot, but can you see how we've really brought out the contrast in that leaf now? Mm. And then we're gonna do the same because at the here, I'm just gonna color in small circular motions just around underneath. And that's gonna really give that effect of the flower being on the top there. And then we're just gonna do the same under here. Um, question from Carolyn, just whilst we're coloring. She says, so the pencils that you're using now, are they different from the ones that you would use your blending solution with? No. Okay, so when no. would you use blending solution then? So, blending, for me, blending so solution is a personal choice. Um, it, 
smooths out the line so you could absolutely use your blender solution so you could do what I've done here then you could bring in your paper stumps and your blending solution uh, and what that does it emulsifies everything together right. so it gives it a very much a smoother finish okay um, which I think is beautiful but when you're coloring something like this I like that bumpiness that it it has um, and I don't I mean I, I'm not sure we can pick that up sort of as I go can you see it's almost almost a little bit blotchy can you see on the leaves it's got that sort of bumpiness I can't explain bit. it if you was to use um, your blending lotion that would smooth all that color into yeah. one which would be really pretty so it is personal choice you don't need the reason I didn't use it because I wasn't sure if we still had any in stock we haven't got any in stock. Uh, we haven't no. which is why I didn't normally uh, blending solution sort of doesn't stay in stock very mm. long so um, I didn't use it but yes if you've got blending solution you can absolutely use that great and then all I'm doing is just adding that touch of brown. And you can see I'm not putting too much. I just want to get that definition um, and really make our stem pop. And it will go sort of in, in tune with um, our actual rose. And then all I'm going to do is then take my green pencil and we're just going to blend that in. Because by doing that, we're then making that brown a little bit more greener. And we're then just blending it into our colours so we don't get any harsh lines. So what I would say though is once make sure that you're happy with your alcohol colouring because you can't go in with your alcohol over the top of your wax pencils. Right. So uh, it is one of those things that you have to then start once you've used the wax pencils, you then you continue to use them. So the wax pencils are like the finishing touch, aren't yes. they? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah absolutely. Um, hi to Jeffrey who's joined us and happy Thursday, Ben and Debbie and all the superstar crew. And folks, sunny, cold, oh, sunny, cold, 26F, minus 3C uh, in New Hampshire. Oh, that is chills, cold. That is chills. Um, thank you as well for all of the love of the um, Crafty Can Can. Still calls for uh, Ben's Crafty Greatest Hits. Maybe it's one day. Still my, my favourite song. Yeah, I, I like that. It's one of my faves. That one and the, I like the... So what is your, do you have a favourite? I really enjoyed the recent one with the We, uh, we Craft Everywhere. Right, yes. And I really, I, I say this every time, I really enjoyed the, um, the one we did, or the one I did for uh, Craig when we raised money for, um, when he, uh, he was in hospital, we raised money for Crohn's and Colitis and I did the that. The Crafty Man. No, 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 it was um, the, fresh, the Fresh Prince of Facial Hair. Oh, I don't think I've seen that then. It was only on my Facebook page. Oh, I uh, haven't seen that one. Yeah, that was, I think, was probably my fave. But I like the crafty man. I like them all. They're all, they're all all right, aren't they? They're all right. They're all all right, not, yeah, absolutely. Not too bad, not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um, hi to Kate. Marjorie says, I love the crafty can can. Thank you. Thank you. Um, beautiful Debbie, says Kathy Myers. Oh, oh um, I think the card and the, the, the person, I think, Jamie. <laughs> um, and Ben McCarthy's joined us saying, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Michelle's arrived, Ben. Michelle's here. She's in, yeah, well, she gave me a little wave a minute ago. She's oh, in tomorrow. She is. She's, is she outside? In fact, that's a bit freaky. She just stood there staring, ah, but she's not. She's talking to she's someone. She's outside. <laughs> yeah. She's here, Ben. She's arrived safely. She's probably messaged you, but just to let you know, she's in the building. Michelle is in the building. Um, she's with me all day tomorrow because we've got our... Can you believe it? Last day of the, the month, our monthly reload, I think it's called. It's, a, it's what was monthly makes. Uh, month reloaded, is it called? Monthly reload. Oh, I don't know. Monthly reload. Monthly reload. March reload, that's what it's that called. That sounds very uh, with it. It does sound with it. Mm. It reminds me of that Tom Jones album that he did those years ago when he did, re he did reloaded, didn't he? And he did all of those songs with like, the, the current artists of the time, like Stereophonics and... Um, Bare Naked Ladies um, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah! Tom Jones. Yeah. I went to the doctor's the other day, actually. Um, <laughs> Is this another joke? <laughs> I, said, I said to her, I said, oh, I said, I've been listening to that reloaded album by Tom Jones. I said, I can't stop singing Green Green Grass at Home. Uh, and the doctor said, oh, he said, I don't know what that is. He says, that's Tom Jones syndrome. I said, Tom Jones syndrome? I said, Is that common? He says, Well, it's not unusual. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Dear. 
You get it? Oh dear. Not uh, not the best not as the the best of reactions I was hoping for there, Debbie. But um, oh, there, never mind. <laughs> I don't, I'm lost for words, Ben. <laughs> I'm lost for words. Oh, dear. <laughs> <sighs> dear, 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 dear. It is a great one. Thank you, Johnny. Not one in your... Superstar, it. it is in the joke book. It is oh, in the joke book. it is in the joke book. Yeah, no wonder Sarah doesn't want it. <laughs> um, I didn't get that one, says Susie. Susie! So it's, it's not unusual. That, the, do I have to explain the whole gag? So I can't stop singing Tom Jones. You've got Tom Jones syndrome. You've got to know Tom Jones' is it common? songs. Yeah, but you must know it's not unusual. That's like his most famous not song. unusual oh, to be loved oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> So that's the joke. It's not unusual because the doctor says that and then that's, the, that's his song. So that's why it's <laughs> really funny. <laughs> or not. Oh, not. May be. <laughs> oh, Susie's just messaged. Oh, OK. Can, can you just yeah, send Susie's, some laughing emojis Susie's now? Susie's not impressed like me. No, she, 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 she isn't. Hard to impress. But she loves me, really. Absolutely. <laughs> Who doesn't love really me? Really funny, she's just put. <laughs> it's a bit too late now. Two minutes after the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear the punchline to that. What was it? What's made out of brass and sounds like Tom Jones? Trombones. <laughs> <laughs> that is a cracker! Oh dear. Trombones! That is brilliant. That is great. How did that... You never told me that one before. That's a good one. Trombones. <laughs> They're giggling, Tom Jones jokes. That's a mouthful oh, in itself, Tom dear. Jones jokes. <laughs> oh dear. Tom Jones jokes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <sighs> what a funny bunch we are. Well, it's uh, definitely been a funny couple of hours, that's It has sure. been a funny couple of hours. I've loved hearing all your stories. I've loved hearing all your stories. I meant those I know, not my stories, I know their but stories, but I've loved hearing, hearing your, your stories. stories. <laughs> it's been so funny. <laughs> and I tell you what, as I say, because I can see so many different things on my screen, so I can, I can see um, Sarah crafting away in the bottom of my screen there, and if her reactions to my jokes are anything to go by, uh, you know, if that's like how you guys react, you know, when I'm chatting and talking normally, I mean, seriously, you must just be belly laughing the whole, the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, Gwen says, hey Benjamin. Benjamin, what Benjamin. do you call a dog that can't bark? Um, oh, I don't know. A hush puppy. <laughs> that's funny, <laughs> that's, that's a, a good, good joke. That's a good one. <laughs> Oh, uh, right, so we've got to the stage where we've got both of our pieces, so let's take that out of the way. Um, so what we're going to do is marry these up so you can... Oh, we've forgot our branch at the bottom oh, there. Yeah. Haven't even coloured it in, so I'm just going to use our darkest one at the top. There we go, and just put a little bit of green in there. So just on that tip, there we go. So then when we come to place this on top, you can see we're going to marry that up. So you can see we've got that um, lightness and darkness, but look how nice it looks. Uh, I actually, I love doing this on two different pieces. Uh, then what I want to do is for our top piece, uh, we're going to use our foam on a roll. Foam, 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 on, foam, a roll. foam on a roll. Oh, you, <laughs> look at the remix. <laughs> what was that? Roll, foam on a 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 roll. Hey! Totally. I love the Debbie in the remix. So we're using this on the back because this is going to give us a little bit of dimension as well. So we're just going to pop that across each corner. Hey. And ben. then a bit down the middle. Fred says, your joke wasn't funny 30 years ago. It's less funny now. 
<laughs> oh, that's harsh. <laughs> but I take it as a compliment, the Tom Jones one. And Michelle says, sorry, Ben, I laughed more at your laugh than that Tom Jones joke. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I usually laugh at my own jokes, because when I tell them at home, I don't get any laughter there Al's either. Al's like so. that. Al laughs that's at his, his own He jokes. thinks his own jokes are hilarious. Yeah. And I laugh at him laughing because they're not funny. <laughs> 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 oh dear. <laughs> right, so this is the trickiest part. Now, I'm going to give you a little tip. Um, I'm going to bring in, oh, it's not there. Oh, there it is. Uh, bring in some, um, you could use tacky, actually, we could use tacky glue as well. So let's just bring in some tacky glue. Now, if you put a wet glue over your. Um, uh, sticky, uh, not for any other reason, but because I wanted that height, and I also, oh, I also wanted uh, some wiggle room. So if you want wiggle room and you're not quite sure you want something stuck down straight away, if you've got like a foam pad, yeah. just put some tacky glue or some all-purpose um, glue on there. And then that way, when you come to putting this down on here, um, it doesn't matter if you've not got it straight, straight away. You can then manoeuvre it about. So I do, I do need to go right over the top. So excuse my head. I just want to make sure that I'm putting this exactly in the right place like so so that looks pretty good doesn't it or a little bit uh, yeah uh yeah, yeah there that's we go on, that's better yep yeah, just a little bit go up a little bit it's because i've not got my head right over the top so uh yep yeah, there we go that will do just going to come back in make sure we've got that there there we go and then just gently push that down so that stays in place so that creates our t oh no oh you've not done the embossing oh, i didn't do the embossing that right. doesn't matter well actually because i put the wet glue i can take that off um are you able to take yours off sarah or not uh Is yes it yeah no, if it's no. Stuck, it doesn't matter. Don't worry, Sarah. I just Sarah. wanted to show. No, to, please don't worry. It's just because I've already done it. So what I am going to do, I'm going to just take <laughs> another piece down. Can't believe I forgot the embossing. Too busy uh, laughing where's at Where's my piece of? Yeah, that's it. I'm just going to bring in that glue because I wanted to do an embossed background. So let me just make sure I take all that glue off from there. Okay. Can't believe I forgot that. Apologies, Sarah. Is that with the Sarah. folder from the colour of my world? Yes, so yeah. the colour my world, I've used that folder in here. I love this folder and it works really well with this. Um, and sometimes we think that we can't, we shouldn't emboss over an image, um, but it's a really nice way to be able to just add your embossing. So that's why I cut this size to the size of my embossing folder, just inside. And then we're just gonna run that one through. So, and actually, it's another good tip with your um, wet glue because it gives you a little bit more time to take it out. So all I'm going to do is place that up the top in my uh, machine, pop that in, and then we've just got our embossed detail in the back. But it's not needed, so honestly, Sarah, don't worry, and I do apologise that I told everyone to, or anyone else that's been crafting along, uh, I do apologise. Um, but obviously you've got now the craft along to be able to uh, do that with. So you can see then just what all it's doing is giving us a little bit of contrast uh, uh, yeah. in the background. And then we can just stick this one over the top again. So let's just pop that. It's not an essential. It's not crucial. It's just no, a nice added element. No, absolutely not you, because it gives you, gives you the same thing. It just gives that little bit of definition in the background yeah. there you can see. And then we've got our black cardstock. And then let me just pop that in the bin and then we'll make our card blank to put on there. So all okay. I'm going to do is bring in that glue to stick onto our black card stock that we had. Like so. And again, just I'm using tacky glue. You can use your tape pen, just whatever you prefer. Or you could even put some more of your foam on there as well if you want that heightened a little bit. Uh huh. So we're just going to pop that in the centre. Doesn't the combination of all the different colours work beautifully? The black, then the craft, then the white. It's just a stunning Looks really effect. nice, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, really nice. And because we've used that black ink, the other thing I didn't do, I'm jumping ahead, so I am just going to do it on here. With my pencils, we've got this really lovely light colour in here, which is our sea foam. But if you've got the colour blend pencils, if you go round just very slightly round the edges, 
So it's not a massive thing to do, but it really highlights it and makes that pop. Okay. So we're just going to go round all the edges there. Is that similar to what you guys do when you use like the ice grey and yes. that with the alcohol yeah. markers? And the reason I use this one, because it's it's it creates that really nice sort of halo, but it also makes it feel like it's out in the fresh air as well because of the colour. So literally just going round, and you don't need loads of this, it's just a case of just highlighting around those edges. Mm. The other thing it's really good for is if you've got any um, uh, mistakes where you might have gone out of the edges, oh, yeah. it's just a really good way of covering up as well. So literally we're just going round all of those edges. I mean ideally you would do this when it's flat but yeah. you could still do it because your pencils are wax pencils, they're nice and soft. Astrid just saying how awesome this is. Love this card, says Colleen. Uh, and Sarah Deitch on Facebook says, hello from Seattle. Hello to Seattle. Hello, uh, she Seattle. says, I've been loving the craft along and all the funny stories uh, and great crafting Sarah, says Sarah. Sarah to Sarah. Uh, it looks fantastic. Um, did you say you love Seattle? I said, hello, Seattle. Oh, I thought you said I love Seattle. As in I've never there. been there, but I'm sure I would. Mm. <laughs> That's the home of grunge, isn't it, Seattle? Grunge? Yeah. Is it really? I think so, yeah. Grunge oh. music started in Seattle. There you um, go. Rose Baker says, what a beautiful card. I'm loving this technique with the two different card colours. Uh, and just for anyone who's joined, we, I'm sure Debbie will do that for you, um, LA Price. It just says, um, could I have the card measurements, please? Absolutely, yes. We'll Let's recap those as well. And then you can still do that round your, um, on your craft card as well. That's going to give that same glow just around the edges. So all the way round. It's nice when you do a craft along like this because it enables you to do a lot of chat as well. Yeah. So uh, people can sort of tell the stories and listen in and just makes it a really nice fun. I think that's why I, I mean along. I enjoy it when I get to craft along but also um, normally on a, a normal craft along I take a bit of a backseat because I know there's more measurements and lots more things that you have to follow but like you said because this has been more colouring I feel Look like I've been involved more. And it's been fun. And it's just such a nice contrast mm. to do over the top. Right, now your card blank, because it's a... Let me give the measurements first and then you'll be able to sort of see. Um, and I'm going to take a sheet of A3 cardstock to make our card base. Because our black cardstock... Make sure that's all glued down. Um, our black cardstock is um, uh, five and a half inches by seven and a half inches. Our craft card is uh, four and three quarter inches by six and three quarter inches. And then our small white piece of uh, Nina cardstock is three inches by five inches. Okay, so I'll quickly recap that again three inches by five inches. Craft card is four and three quarters by six and three quarters and your black card stock is five and a half by seven and a half. So I want to make a card blank eight and a half by six and a half. So the first thing I want to do is score this in half. So I'm going to bring in, because it's such a big piece. Now, if you've only got... Um, uh, A4 are our multi-purpose cardstock. What I would suggest is you using two pieces of that, uh, cutting one piece down to eight and a half, um, and one piece, and then the opposite side um, to uh, six and. Uh, sorry, seven and a half, yep. and then score it, that one piece, so it will then go in line. But I want to make this eight and a half inches, so what I am going to do is come in at eight and a half, uh, and we're going to score that. I did that right now. I think I'm scoring it. No, we want it the opposite side. I'm going to just score it in half, so I'm going to come in at eight and a quarter for now, and then we're just going to fold that in half, and then we're going to use our guillotine to cut that down. Okay. So let's grab my guillotine and then bring out our foot. So this piece here is now, so it's, we want to go the opposite way. So this way we want to do, so with the spine across the top of our guillotine, we're going to cut that to eight and a half. Yep. So just like so. And then down the opening part, we're going to cut that one down to six and a half. Okay. So that gives us our card blank. So what you would do, and I'm going to show you, let me just get two pieces of cardstock. 
So if you've got A4 cardstock, you'd have two pieces. Because we want to do our biggest piece to eight and a half, I would then cut um, one piece to eight and a half. And in fact, you could cut that to, uh, let's do that nine and a half inches. And then we're going to do that by six and a half inches. But this side, this top score line, we want to do it in an, an inch score line. So let's just come in and create that score line down there. Mm -hmm. So that creates our first panel. And then our next panel, we can then cut at eight and a half inches. And then again by six and a half inches. So this is for anybody that hasn't got a um, uh, a free piece of card. Yeah. And then you just stick those two pieces together and then you've got your card blank, Perfect. okay? So that's how you would do it if you haven't got yourself an A3 piece of card. But if you have, you want to make your actual card eight and a half uh, by six and a half. So let's bring in that card blank. And then we're just going to stick this <clears throat> on the front here, okay. like so. Oh, there we go. Let's stick that down. And then we're done. So I we're think this has been one of my favourite craft alongs ever. Oh, that's really nice to say. I've really, Thank really you. enjoyed it. I've enjoyed watching you. I've enjoyed chatting to Sarah. I'm really looking forward to seeing her finished project. I've enjoyed all the stories. And I think it's just a bit nice to... We haven't done a lot of colouring craft logs, have we? No, and it is nice so really just nice. to take time uh, and do something that's quite basic, but actually a little bit different. But how it's effective? Really effective, isn't it? Yeah, mm. really effective. And there we go, Ben. There is our craft along. My goodness me, that is tremendous. I absolutely love it. And um, let us know in the comments what you guys think. I know Stephanie uh, has just joined us. She's saying, just stopping by to say hello uh, to all my crafty peeps from historic Savannah, Georgia. She says, the card looks awesome, Debbie. I'll have to watch this later. And hi to another newbie, uh, Ginny Van Vliet on Facebook. Says, absolutely beautiful card. I'm new to card making and I love all of the great tips and tricks that you pass along. Uh, good morning from St. James City, Florida. Well, Ginny, welcome. Uh, to the uh, the crafty community um, uh, and just loads more comments flying through uh, Rhonda says Ben you say that every single time lol well I mean it because you know Rhonda our craft along was amazing but I think this one might be the the next the next step up so you'll have to come back on Rhonda and then get like the the the, the next best one but no I love them all absolutely um, and hopefully you've been inspired uh, to have a go at this if you haven't done it live just before we do our final check-in with Sarah let's just remind you about the Academy of Colours that we've got available so We've got three for twos on Spectrum Noir products on the web. It excludes the Academy of Colour. However, look at the deal that you're getting today. This is uh, £148, $197. You're saving $52.62 or $69.25 and then you get your discount. If you're platinum, that's your price. And remember, with the original Academy of Colour, you do get your binder. So this is where you're gonna keep all of the future uh, stamps and panels that come along in the, um, the future editions. Uh, you're also gonna keep all of your work in here as well because you get your project binders included uh, in that. So you can pop all of your work like we see um, here. Well, there you go, you've got pockets for each and every kind of uh, bit of the Academy so you can keep your work in. And for me, I would say that's one of the most important things is keep all of your work, even though, even if you do a part of it and you think, oh, it's not the best effort, keep it anyway, date it, and you can come back to it uh, and you can kind of see how far you've come with the Academy. Here are all of the colours that you're going to be receiving as well in the original box. And it is, as we've already chatted about, loads of your duo aqua colours. So you've got the opportunity to try water colouring um, within the Academy of Colour. You get all of these added extras so your opaque white marker you've got your spritzer tool you've got your brushes in there as well and then all of these um, colors in your aqua markers and then you also get on top of that 16 of your um, alcohol uh, duo colors as well so those are all included again the colors you can see there but it might just highlight it a little bit better for you um, on the board and then alongside that all of these stamps. So again, these stamps are the exact stamps that you're gonna see Leanne using when it comes to the tutorials. And bear in mind, the tutorials are within this, you know, built into the, the cost of this, if you like, 18 hours worth that you get via the QR code that you'll receive on the card within your box. 
and have fun with this. You know, if you are new to this today, if you've ever wanted to take your colouring to the next level, the Academy of Colour is absolutely for you. If you are someone perhaps who uh, feels like, do you know what, your, your colouring isn't quite there, you know, you want that dedicated time. Maybe you don't want to go to an evening class, or maybe you don't want to pay that sort of money, maybe you, you know, you're a bit worried about having to do it in front of other people. This is your opportunity to do the Academy in the comfort of your own home at a time that suits you um, and to really focus on the elements of colouring that you want to be able to colour on, uh, colour in. And I tell you what, for this price, fantastic today. £76.80 or $102.40. We've still got the other two um, boxes available for you as well, the portraits and the floor and fauna whilst stocks last. Let's go back then and uh, see the lovely Sarah in Northern Ireland. Um, have you finished, Sarah? That's the first question. Yes. All right. Um, let's have the big reveal, Demi. We'll get you. We'll get you to cast your eye over this as well. Can we go full screen on this so we can have a look, Jamie? Let's have a go. All right. We're going to try and go full screen for you, Sarah. Get ready. Here we go. Yes. Oh, what do you reckon, Debbie? Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. You. I can see you really love colouring, Sarah. Yes. Very uh, good. good. I love the way as well that you've managed to kind of do your own take on it because, of course, you didn't have the actual stamp that um, Debbie had, but you, you took her advice, used those two flowers, and, um, yeah, that looks absolutely brilliant. Who, who are you going to give that to, or are you going to keep it? Maybe keep it. You're going to keep it, yeah, good idea. Um, have you enjoyed it? Yes, thank you. Oh, amazing. Will you come back and do another one at some point? Yes. Oh, we have loved having you, Sarah. Um, do you know what? I think we said it earlier, but in case we didn't, um, Debbie was saying um, in one of the breaks, she thinks you're the smiliest guest that we've ever had. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Happiest guest ever. <laughs> yeah. I think it's been the happiest show ever because I'm Mr Happy, you're Mrs absolutely. Happy. Absolutely. We've got Sarah spreading the happiness in, in Northern oh, Ireland as well. Spread the love, spread um, the happiness. Spread the happiness. <laughs> Thank you also to Sarah's uh, mum as well. Can we get one final wave from mum? Thank you, mum. <laughs> Here comes the hand. Yay! <laughs> the help we've had. And just before you go, Sarah, I think now with the craft alongs, we still do send you out a little voucher to say thank you. Um, so that will be coming your way. Um, and if I can find one, feel free to say no. If I can find one, I can't promise, but do you want one of my joke books? Yes, please. Yes! Yay. I love Sarah yeah. even more right now. Right answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best to find one and um, I'll get, uh, me and Debbie will sign it for you as well. Is that all right? Yeah, thank you very much. Thank oh, you, Sarah. Thank you, Have Sarah. a brilliant rest of the day. You too. Bye. Bye. Oh, how amazing was that card? She was just lovely. And yes, the colouring was amazing. Yeah. Mm. Oh, absolutely brilliant. That, that has, uh, I feel like the day's done now. We've just rounded off the day. Let's all go home. Oh, can we? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm thinking, well, Michelle's here. She can take over. Oh, yeah, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle will be all right, won't she? Yeah, yeah she'll I can be, go home. She'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, just loads of comments coming through as well, by the way. Uh, Carol says, love it, Debbie. Awesome card, Sarah, says Rosalind. Great job, Sarah, says Rhonda. Bravo, Sarah, says Lois. Well done, Sarah, says Lindsay. Oh, so much love uh, coming in for you, Sarah. I know you're still with us there. Uh, wonderful make, Sarah, says Annie Cagle. You did a fabulous job. Um, and Lindsay says, that is stunning. Um, Sarah, make sure you check out all of the love coming in for you um, on the socials. And you too, Debbie, as well. I mean, a fantastic project. Um, which we've all absolutely loved doing and hopefully proved that, uh, you know, the, this Academy of Colour is for everybody and it's so achievable for everybody as it's well, isn't really it? It's really achievable, yeah. If ever you thought that there was a system that you couldn't do, this one you can, I promise mm. you. Um, Leanne is so, I mean, for me, I think she's one of the best teachers that we have. Um, I think anywhere in Craftland, I think she is so good at being able to teach what's going on in her head to what you can actually be or what is achievable for you. Uh, and you will improve. This is not a case of you might improve. This is a case that you will improve on your colouring. So if you can go for that first Academy of Colour, which we've still got in stock, go for that one and honestly your colouring in a few weeks time uh, will be so so much enhanced to what you're doing now. 
Amazing. What a fabulous feel-good show that has been. Hopefully uh, you've enjoyed it at home as much as we've enjoyed it. Massive thank you to Debbie. Massive thank you to Sarah as well. Absolutely fantastic guest. Uh, thank you to Susie on the socials as well uh, and all of the team. We're back in a couple of hours. Just before we go, don't forget uh, that three for two we've launched literally in the last couple of hours on Spectrum Noir products on the website. Check it out. It's only live until midnight. Uh, it's a great opportunity to grab top quality core product. Um, three for two you can't believe it we hardly ever do that so to have it kind of spectrum noir wide aside from these is an opportunity for you to shop till you drop uh, spring sale continues of course and our national craft month deals and get in early on those cartload deals if you shop the show there you'll find all of those penny deals if you missed the preview show earlier on there's loads of them and deals that you will not quite believe i think some of the best deals we've done on cartloads this year I'm t that's what i'm talking about i'm putting it out there it's going to be a tremendous show tonight uh, but once again thanks for watching massive thanks to the team and we will be back here for more fun and frolics it's going to be chaotic uh, we'll see you for that penny not benny cartload uh, in two hours time bye for now